What is up, Karatics? So before this video starts, I wanted to let you guys know that on my primary accounts, I did purchase the Deluxo out of all these vehicles on this website, as well as the Avenger. And on this account, I purchased everything you see here except for the Safari. So I've pretty much purchased all the main stuff in the facility as well on my account. But the other day, I was calculating to see how much all of this would cost me. And... After I bought and customized all of this, I would literally have like only $4 million left, which is nothing. Absolutely. $4 million in GTA is chump change. That will not get you anything in GTA. Yes, you can buy this one thing, but then you're broke. So the rest of these vehicles, I will be customizing on my friend's account. She has a lot of money on her account. Pretty sure you guys know what that means. Out of courtesy and out of her request, I will blur her money throughout the video and Here's a screenshot of her YouTube channel if you guys want to check her out. She does post GTA content quite often. I mean, it really just depends. She's not that active on YouTube. She just does it, you know, whenever she gets around to it and has the time. But with that out of the way, guys, I uh, hope you enjoy the customization video. We're going to be customizing the Kanjali, which is the new tank, basically. Well, this is like the new Rhino tank, per se. We had the old one in the game for a very, very long time. At the end of this video, I will be doing a little durability test, so I'll be seeing how many RPG rounds it can survive, which is nice. So the trade price is 2.89, well, it's about 2.9 million dollars. And all you have to do is complete the Kanjali setup mission. So all you have to do is do a setup mission, and you unlock this, and you get, well, you unlock it the cheaper price, the trade price, which is a million dollars less. About a million dollars, so definitely want to take advantage of that. If you do decide to purchase this, unless you're really just throwing away a million dollars if you're impatient and you want to buy it right now. So it's already here. My friend already bought it. So this is what it looks like right here. You cannot buy it twice. You can only buy it once. And it does spawn in here for some reason. You can't really take it out of here. It's, it's stuck here. I was very surprised about that. I thought it'd be some part of like a maybe like an apartment or something. But it's literally just stuck in here it's very strange same thing with the jetpack they're forced to be in here this is the only place where you can get them and delivered and all that so if you know from the tank there isn't really a, a first person per se like you inside of it so i did open up the hatch here and you can see right there that's, that's the interior that's probably the best angle i could give you right there the interior that's, that's the only way you can see it is if you there you go right there is if you uh, open the hatch first Let's see what customization this has. We upgrade it, you just hop inside of it. And then you just sit right on the D-pad to enter the facility workshop. You remember, you have to have the facility workshop upgrade. When you bought it, you are customizing all the options on the website. You have to put this on there to be able to upgrade it. Get right on the D-pad. And then you have armor, which this definitely helps. I think it helps. I mean, I guess we'll see when we go outside. The brakes. Engine. Okay, make it go faster. That's definitely helps proximity mines so if you remember from the gun running vehicles like the doom buggy the insurgent pickup custom you can equip the proximity mine upgrade which when you press the horn it drops a proximity mine now i do believe you can hold up i think it's unlimited i'm not 100 percent sure but i know it's a lot like I, i've never run out of proximity mines using them in free mode so just be careful though because sometimes you can drop it by accident and then explode your friend by accident or something. Even though you're in a tank, so you, you probably wouldn't harm you if you drop it by accident and then run over it yourself. So we'll put that on there. So if somebody's chasing you, you just drop them, even though I don't really see anybody chasing a tank. <laughs> and then you can change the horn if you want. So I'll just put a truck horn, even though when you put that proximity line upgrade, you kind of lose the horn for functionality. <laughs> and then here we have the headlights. So you have stock ones, which literally look exactly like Xenons. So I mean... I guess just make it even more blue-ish, I guess. I mean, pretty much all you doing there. I love the headlights on this thing. look awesome. Next up, we have deliveries. So there's the question everybody was asking. It does go over that pattern on the side, which that pattern in real life is, some, is a type of armor. So it goes right over it. So my friend does not have all the liveries unlocked, but... These liveries are all the same, you know, they're, they're the same for the gun running vehicles and the same for these as well. It's just on a different vehicle, but it's the same pattern, if you guys see what I'm saying. So if you have these unlocked, you can look through these or you can look through one of my old gun running 
and search and pick up custom videos and you'll see all these liveries or you know so you can put one of these liveries on there uh, I love I love the way that tank looks with a livery but at the same rate I mean I mean it's really up to you this is a hundred percent personal preference you can do like an arctic camo if you want but I really love the pattern on the side I think it looks amazing or you can literally just respray it so you can do oh, you, so the turret color is separate right there so it changes the handle of the hatch that section that circular section on the turret itself and the top turret gun so it changes that to a different color which is cool and then your primary color is okay so it's the center portion with all the um the frame lines wow and the whole belly of the tank as well okay and then I'm guessing the secondary would be the pattern on the side. Yes, there you go. So that would be that. Wow. That is really cool. So I think I'm just going to do something a little different than what most people are doing. I'm not going to put the livery on there. And then I'll just do the turret thing the same to match it with the side. That doesn't look too bad. And then the primary, we'll leave it as, I think it comes in matte black. Yes, it does. Oh, it comes in matte gray through matte black. All right, it doesn't look half bad. All right, so now let's get into the fun stuff, which is the primary weapons. So the railgun cannon, Rockstar talked about it on their Twitter. So you can upgrade this to the railgun cannon for $300,000. Definitely want to do that. Secondary weapons, wow, more weapons. So you can do a remote grenade launcher. So I'm pretty much pretty sure it's similar to the weaponized tampa in a way, maybe. I mean I think. I guess we'll test it when we go outside. Three hundred thousand dollars. So that's what those circular things are for. Turbo? Dang, so you can look at the acceleration stat. Wow. This thing must go really fast with that. Alright, so that's all the weapon options right there. Now let's take it out of the facility it for a little test drive we'll test all the weapons and we'll test the armor as well wow the turret's really fast it sounds different too oh my god so if you see there isn't really a it doesn't shoot right away oh yeah it does never mind I think if you charge it, it shoots farther. You hold it. All you have to do is hold it. And then it releases when it's ready. Does it? Oh, you have to let go. Oh, you let go. Okay. That shoots pretty far. It doesn't look like it, it goes that far, to be honest. Yeah, it doesn't really go too far, but I mean, it's pretty decent. This this probably does a crazy amount of damage. All right, so I got Edub in here. Unfortunately, I, I couldn't get in the passenger seat. You have to have somebody in the driver's seat to use the other weapons. So here we go. Let's get in the passenger side. And here we'd have the machine gun. Do you use R2 to fire? So the same button you use to shoot a normal gun. Very powerful gun. It's a pretty long range tool, you can see me shooting the water all the way over there. Not too bad at all. Alright, so now let's hop out. We're gonna go into the third seat. You might be wondering, car addict, are you... Is there something wrong with you? There's a third seat? Yep, it's actually right back here. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. And this controls the grenade launcher turret. So it's pretty much just... A mounted grenade launcher in a way. And they shoot pretty far. That's about as far as I could go. Well, it's not too bad at all. Now, don't quote me on this, but I believe that four people can sit back here based on the sides. So I think one person can sit on the back. And then a second person can sit on the other side to use the other grenade launcher. So you can literally have four people in this thing. One shooting this grenade launcher system. One shooting this grenade launcher system. One use one shooting the machine gun. And another person shooting the rail gun. 
That is absolutely crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Alright, now, you know, pop out. Call your insurgent. We're gonna do a little test. van pretty much I'm pretty sure they literally just use the uh well that's, that was really far right pretty sure they just use the van as the uh and now he's using that side oh well right. yeah. it's, like, it's like if you have a van built into the back end <laughs> it's hilarious this thing is really cool Got a lot of options and stuff. Really, Rockstar? The turret is inside of the hatch? That's that's hilarious. Look at that. Alright, so insurgent spawned right over here. Alright, Edom's gonna get in. Alright, so as you guys know, the insurgent takes more rounds when the person's inside of it. Let's see what it can survive. Let's charge it all the way. Alright, so one, he's still good. Let's charge it all the way. Two. Still going. Okay. All the way again. He's still good. Alright, so so far the insurgents are really good for against the railgun cannon. Four and he's still going. Wow. Wow. So it's literally almost half of what it usually takes with an RPG. That's crazy. But I mean, if you're an insurgent, I mean, I think you have plenty of time still to get away from somebody in this tank with the four, you know, that it could. Because it's, it survives four. So on the fourth rocket, you're still able to drive it. But then on the fifth one, you're dead. 100% dead. That's absolutely crazy. Alright, so now we're going to do the important one. So it has all, this, all these weapons and crazy gun. Now let's see how much it could actually survive with a person driving it. Alright, let's see what we got here. One still good. Two still good. Three still good. Four just good. Wow. So we started off with 18. So far, we have 11. So we've done 7 so far. Oh, and he's smoking right there, you can see. So on the, he's smoking right there on the 7th one. Ooh! Wow. So on the 8th, it blows up. So we, we started off with 18 rockets, and we have 10 left. So right there on, on the 8th one, it blows up. On the seventh one, you're smoking, and you gotta find a way to get out of where you are. Wow. That's crazy. I think that's plenty of armor for what it is. I think that's really good. That's about the same armor as an insurgent. So that's 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 crazy. That's really crazy. Um, do I recommend this vehicle? Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to say yes. Because if you have a lot of friends... Only if you have a lot of friends helping you. I think it is totally worth it. And it has the proximity of mine upgrade. This thing is literally... Anybody chasing this, I honestly feel bad for you. <laughs> this thing is pretty much unstoppable to a certain extent, other than the, the armor, of course. But, I mean, the offense that it has is crazy compared to the defense it has. Well, Alright, guys, so that was the customization and the uh, driving, as well as the durability of the new tank. And I'll see you in the next one.